on April the 8th, 1966. Time magazine published its famous edition with a dark cover and large red letters, asking the question, is God dead? It was the first time that the magazine had not had a picture on the cover. The question was, of course, a reference to Friedrich Nietzsche's much quoted, God is dead, which he first proposed nearly a hundred years before. That issue of the magazine provoked a huge amount of criticism and outrage, both from the broader public and from the church. The Is God Dead issue of Time magazine saw around three and a half thousand letters being sent to the editor, the largest number of responses to any one story in the history of the magazine. I'm reminded of the Time magazine controversy every year when Holy Saturday comes around because we don't really talk much about Holy Saturday in the church these days. We tend to fill it with church working bees or preparation for Easter or any other sort of busyness. We seem to quite like Good Friday, Jesus died for us. We really like Easter Sunday, Jesus rose again from the dead. But we don't like Holy Saturday, the death of God or God is dead. It seems to me that that quote from Nietzsche fits Holy Saturday pretty well as I read it today. God is dead invites the question, what am I to do in this dead silence and absence? We like to give the disciples a hard time for fleeing, but do we really think we'd have responded any better to the death of the one we thought was the Messiah than they did? If you didn't know the end of the story that comes on Easter Day, what would you do if you truly thought God had died? What would you have done or said on Holy Saturday? I wonder if it might be a good thing for us to sit with Holy Saturday longer than we tend to. It's why I've never quite liked the vigil service that tends to happen early on Saturday evening and prefer to wait until the sunrise to light the first fire of Easter. Rather than filling it with busyness and last minute preparations, rather than celebrating Easter as soon as the sun looks like going down on Saturday evening, what might it mean to sit for a while longer in that uncomfortable silence? What might it mean for us to sit in the dark a little longer? Perhaps if we sit long enough in the darkness of Holy Saturday, then we will appreciate all the more the light that dawns on Easter Day. Perhaps we as the church ought to be a little more comfortable with letting people sit in the darkness of Holy Saturday before we try dragging them into the light of Easter Sunday.